Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, a stump server connector, which is basically like if you walk out of a certain area, you connect to a server, but if you go back in, you cannot. So it's pretty easy. First thing you want to do, you want to get three scripts from a Discord. Enable, disable, and change server. And once you have all of those imported, if you don't know how to import a script, I'm ashamed. And to learn. Um, but yeah, uh, so you can add whatever... You can add whatever material because it really doesn't matter since we're going to disable the mesh renderer since obviously you would, we don't want to see this in game. So I should probably stop getting ahead of myself. You want to name this or you don't have to. This is just for organization purposes. Call the server connector and make sure it triggers enabled on the box collider. Make sure box collider is enabled. And next thing you want to do, do you want to go to layers, edit layers, and make a new layer called button. And um, you want to go to Gorilla Rig, Gorilla Player, and make sure Locomotion Enable Layers does not have button on. And perfect. And now on Server Connector, just add the layer button. And um, and then you want to add the Change Server script. And you want to put whatever server you want to connect to. So if you have multiple publics, I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry, but um, if you have servers like me, then just put the app ID, voice ID there, and bam then you can do that but that's not it and ne the next thing you want to do you want to just make you want to make the thing that's going to disable it so you want to make it just about away from it like that that's about perfect and uh on and just remove the change server component and add the disable scripts and you want to make sure object disable is server connector and by the way you can also rename this server connect server connector disabler and yeah make sure that's there and i'm gonna add a red material since it disables the only reason i'm adding materials is because um i'm not going to turn off the mesh renderer for um video purposes but um yeah and so and yeah now we have this and now we're going to make it so that if you have a leave server button, this re-enables. And that's why we need an enable script. And if you don't know how to make a leave server button, pretty easy. Add uh, ease trigger, change server. Don't put anything here. Bam. You got a leave server button. But if we want it, when we um, leave a server, this will re-enable so that we can join a server after walking out some again. So you want to add the enable script. And make object enable server connector. And yeah, and you can call this leave server. And I'm going to call this server group if you want to. Then you can put all this in a group. And let's go ahead and test it. So we're going to load in. The last time I tried this tutorial, just making sure I'm still recording. Um, the last time I tried this tutorial, my Unity took forever to load. Thank you for not taking forever to load, Unity. And, um, wait, is this the wrong camera? Oh, that's the wrong camera. Oh, I gotta delete this main camera in my uh, other tutorial. That should fix it, right? Alright, perfect. And left-hand controller, so this should still work. Nope, XR crashed. Yay. Um, probably because I deleted main camera, but not sure. XR was working, like, perfectly before my recording broke. And perfect. Uh, so, what we want to do, and, of course, right-hand controller sucks. But, um, can move her rig up, left-hand controller, and did it crash? Of course it did. Gonna copy... We're gonna make this closer but yeah you get the you get the gist i'm just making i'm just proving that this works to you guys to nerds that wouldn't believe me i don't know who wouldn't believe me but yeah as you can see our hand can go through it and if we click it it disables this so now we're going to disable this again and we're going to bring our rig over here i know i'm not in play mode and now we're going to test the server re-enable, or server connector re-enable, thingamajig. So, 
And you can also add buttons to this. The button layer just works like it makes it basically makes things not collidable. And you can wait for this to load. Just kidding. And um, see, so yeah, as you can see, that's disabled. And if we go here, wait to click scene, click this. As you can see, that's disabled. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Goodbye.